Okay, so let's finish up and look at this model and make sense finally of all the pieces. So as we spin around, as our angle increases, we're going to talk about the tangent values in all four quadrants and how to make sense of it in terms of the graph. We're also going to look at some key points as well that I want you to list out. In the first quadrant, as we approach pi over 2 radians, 90 degrees, you can see that green vertical line tangents increasing and approaching positive infinity. But once we pass pi over 2, this is where things get even trickier because tangent looks really large there, and it is, but it's a really large negative value. In fact, all the values of tangent are negative in the second quadrant. Tangent is just the ratio of this sine to this cosine value, and cosine is negative, right? So a positive sine to a negative cosine gives you a negative tangent. And the slope of this line right here is the tangent as well, this rise over run, sine over cosine, that's the slope of this line. So you can keep track of whether tangent is positive or negative by looking at the slope of this line. So what's happening in the second quadrant is we're starting off at a really, really negative value of tangent, a really large absolute value. It's really far in the negatives. And the closer we get to pi over 2, the closer we get to negative infinity. And then as the angles increase, we approach 0. right? And then once we're in the third quadrant, we're back in positives again. Because here the ratio of sine to cosine is the ratio of two negative values, and the slope here, the tangent, is positive. So we're approaching a positive infinity. Then the fourth quadrant, again, we're negative because sine is negative now. Sine is negative, cosine is positive, and the slope here, you can see the tangent is negative. But how does it behave? Well, it starts at negative infinity and then approaches to zero. Now that's hard to keep track of. That's difficult. So is there a better way? How can we look at the circle in a different way to make sense of tangent? Amazingly, it turns out, if we just rewind a little bit, if we just go back to negative pi over 2 and start there, the story of tangent becomes a lot easier to deal with. If we start at negative pi over 2 and go to pi over 2, that is, how far is that? Well, that's pi radians, and that's the period of tangent. It repeats itself every pi radians. And in this interval right here, tangent starts off at negative and from coming from negative infinity, excuse me, approaching zero, and then going to positive infinity. And then it repeats itself from negative infinity towards zero, and then positive infinity. Negative, coming from negative infinity towards zero, towards positive infinity, and so on and so forth. And that is the story of tangent. Doesn't mean it's easy, but it's a little bit more manageable. And here's the graph itself. As we go here in this first wave, it's sandwiched between pi over 2 radians and negative pi over 2 radians. And we can see that by typing in intervals of pi over 2. So you can see that if I had a vertical line at pi over 2, we're approaching at pi over 2 radians infinity. And at negative pi over 2, if we put an asymptote there, we're approaching negative infinity. And that's expressed in the, in the unit circle. Let's go back. Watch the point on the tangent line. This point here is matching the value of the tangent. So on the unit circle, you can see a negative pi over 2 is undefined. But as we increase, we're coming from negative infinity towards 0. Right, you can see that point approaching 0. And then approaching positive infinity here. And then it repeats the cycle. After pi over 2, it repeats again. It comes from negative infinity up towards 0, right? And then climbs towards positive infinity, and so on and so forth. It keeps repeating that cycle, right? This is the story of tangent. It's told here. Now, the unit circle itself, I mean, is my way. That vertical line of tangent and the slope of that, of the, tan the slope representing tangent there helps me keep track of the values. And here in this graph, it the, has the asymptotes as well. You can see what's going on here, right? As we scroll through, as we increase, it approaches infinity, and then just starts over again. Um, I just have to make the interval higher here. Let's do 10 pi. And negative 10 pi. OK, fix that. So now you can see how it just repeats itself. And that's for every rotation on the circle, the tangent repeats again and again and again. and the rotations, it actually repeats, it repeats every half rotation of the circle. Every pi radians, the tangent will repeat itself. All right, I hope this helped.